Staking Ethereum with Figment's industry-leading infrastructure has never been this easy. But before we jump into how simple Figment made staking Ethereum with the Figment app, let's take a quick tour of what makes the Figment app such a powerful tool for managing your staked assets. I put chapters in the description, along with all relevant links to help you easily navigate to the information you're looking for. The Dashboard once you log into the Figment app, you will be greeted with the dashboard. This is the heart of the Figment app. Here we can see all our stake positions in one place. Even if you didn't stake using the app, have several custodians, or for whatever reason, aren't staked to a Figment validator, you can add your address right here and see everything on one page. Right here at the top, rewards across all your positions. And then we also have a breakdown between Solana and Ethereum. If I just click off Ethereum, now we'll only see Solana's rewards. And then if we click off Solana, so we can just look at Ethereum here and see all of our rewards broken down into 30 days, six months, and one year. Over here, we can stake Ethereum, check out some resources, and then below here we have our positions. Under positions, we can see all our stake positions along with all the relevant information we care about and none of the noise, like our staking rate or SRR, our total staked, and our total rewards earned. I can quickly look here and see if I've earned enough ETH and rewards to restake. Need more details? No problem. Just click the carrot here to see all the positions you have. Even cooler, we can click on details and see all the validators attached to that withdrawal address. Speaking of tracking rewards, this has been one of the biggest time sinks for me. By clicking rewards in the left side menu, you'll be greeted by my accountant's favorite feature. Here, we can download detailed rewards reports filtered by protocol and date range. Choose the protocol, select the dates, and click prepare download. It's that easy. The report will be prepared, and when it's done, you can click download. No more going from Block Explorer to Block Explorer tracking all your staked positions and rewards manually. If you find yourself there a lot, this is going to give you a ton of time back in your day. Maybe you don't want to just look backwards at previous rewards, but you want to look forward and see what you could expect. To help users achieve this, we included our staking rewards calculator right inside the Figment app. If you missed our video covering the rewards calculator, make sure to hit subscribe and sign up to the newsletter to be the first to know of new features, updates, and insights. Here, you can choose the protocol, the amount you wish to stake, the duration, the current price, or whatever you think the price could be after you're done staking, and you can even use the current reward rate or change it to what you think the average will be for the term of your position. You can then save this calculation and then compare multiple protocols, or what I like to do is compare the same staked position with varying price movements in SRR or staking rewards rate changes. If you have a team, you can even click this icon and share with them your saved calculations. Under the Insights section, on the left side menu, you can see the protocols we have deep insights on. Clicking on Ethereum, we can see a plethora of information. If you're one for the numbers and the data, this page will be very useful for you. We could honestly make an entire video of this page itself, but until then, I encourage you to explore it yourself. Now that we know the tools at your fingertips, let's take a look at how to stake Ethereum right from the Figment app. Let's locate the Ethereum staking modal on the right. At the top, we'll see the current activation time and withdrawal times. In case you missed it, there is a limit to how many validators can enter and exit the active set each epic. We can see this entry and exit queue at Beacon Chain. This is where we'll see the number of validators in the entry queue and the number exiting. This is why we see such a difference in queue times. If you'd like to go deeper on this, we have a list of resources right here and at figment.io. Below the activation and withdrawal times, we can see the latest benchmarked price, the staking rewards rate, or SRR, and how often rewards are distributed, which is every epic. As a reminder, when staking Ethereum, it must be in increments of 32 ETH. And with the Figment app, you can do up to 400 validators at one time. Once we're ready, we'll click Stake. Now we can connect our wallet. You can connect to any MetaMask or Wallet Connect compatible wallet, we recommend only having one wallet extension enabled at a time though. Via Wallet Connect, there are several different wallet solutions available, such as Ledger and Fireblocks. You can also do MetaMask Mobile Dev. That's pretty cool. And there's some other ones as well. You can also scan this QR code to connect with any Wallet Connect compatible mobile wallet. If you wanted to connect with the desktop, you would just click it and then it would open up 
Ledger Live, and then you would sign in like you do. With MetaMask, you can use MetaMask Institution and Copper Connect as well. For this video, we'll be using MetaMask. So choose your wallet, and then in your wallet, click Connect. You should see your balance in the upper left right here and see your address right here. Now that we know how to connect our wallet, we can proceed with the staking process. And then below, we can provision our validators. And as a reminder, you do have to have increments of 32. Now we'll do our withdrawal address. It's absolutely vital that this address is correct. This is the address where you will receive all of your rewards and where you can unstake your ETH to if you wish. Once we've triple checked that the address is correct, we can click continue. Review that all your information here is correct and that you have the right withdraw address one more time and click confirm state. Now we wait for our validators to be fetched. Don't close or refresh this window. This step can take up to five minutes. Once the validators are fetched, we'll see the pop-up change to waiting for signature. Your MetaMask should pop up. If not, go ahead and check it to sign the transaction. If you used Wallet Connect, you'll need to go to your wallet and sign the transaction just like any other transaction. We'll click confirm. Once signed, the pop-up will say confirming transaction. And when it's confirmed, you'll see a confirmation message. You will also receive an email shortly after you stake, confirming it went through, and then another one after the validators have become active. Don't worry if you don't see your address added to your position table in the dashboard. Once you get through the queue, the address gets added to your position as soon as rewards are made for the first time. Congratulations. You just staked Ethereum with industry-leading staking infrastructure by Figment. How cool is that? If you are already a Figment client, reach out to your account manager if you have any questions. We're here to help. If you're interested in being a Figment customer and have made it this far in the video, you can sign up for the Figment app with the link below or at figment.io. I look forward to seeing you there. And until next time, happy staking.